This is a Chelsea's ship's bell from the very early 1900s, about 1900 to maybe 1920-ish at the very latest. And the entire thing has been gone through, restored to what really is museum quality in every way. You look at all the chrome on it, it's absolutely flawless, every piece of it. The wood, this is a reproduction stand, but the clock and the bell were originally uh, a pair together, and then the barometer is a little later period that was added when this was made into what's called an automatic ship's bell because it has the gong inside it does the regular ship's bell like you're used to but this was a very rare version the automatic ship's bell actually used 110 volts AC to gong just a, a massive loud bell and uh, as I'm going to show in a minute it's enough to wake the dead when it goes off the clock is keeping correct time I've had it running for several weeks no issues with it. The clock and barometer both are six inch diameter faces. This is the back end of the movement. You can see that most of the patent dates are from 1900. The last patent date is April 24th, 1911. And the electric or automatic bell contacts are in here. They've been cleaned and adjusted. They're in good shape. Get this out of the way so you can see them. And then this contact right here, point with the screwdriver, that contact right there is what closes with two little protrusions on this wheel that spin around and contact that. So in addition to the electric bell you have the original gong that is still inside and sounding excellent. A look at the clock movement itself. I'll try to get around here and show you that it is very clean there's not a spot of corrosion or rust any place on it. All of the teeth on all of the gears are in great shape. You don't see any wear or damaged teeth. Try to get around here so you can see it. This movement was recently serviced by an avid Chelsea clock collector and restorer in the San Francisco Bay Area and so it should give you many many years of good running service and you can see the escapement in there ticking away dial face has been redone by the dial house I wanted to ring the bell without the gong in place or the actual bell here. I just wanted the hammer and striker to work so you could see the quality of this assembly. It's uh, good and clean and working great. Uh, no corrosion of any kind or damage of any kind. And so when I get to 230, five bells as proper and then to go on to three o'clock I should now have six bells so here we go three o'clock six bells no detail was overlooked in the restoration of this clock you can see there's 
oval head flat slotted uh, screws that have been chrome plated. All these mounting screws, nice fresh chrome on it. And they preserved or saved the name. When they buff that out, Even the striker inside the bill that you work by hand with a rope attached here has been re-chromed and is just in perfect condition. No blemishes anywhere on it. All right, let's get to five o'clock and have it sound out two bills. This is the back of the unit. You can see that's an original automatic ship's bell control cabinet. Type 2LW-110 volt 60 cycles, Chelsea Clock Company. If we open up, take a look inside, I've got two fuses and then a 110 volt relay. AC power comes in and goes through the fuses and then through the relay and out to the actual solenoid or coil for the, the striker on the bell. And then this other set of wires goes out to the clock and then the contacts in there close. So we're a little bit after 5. Let's get down to 5.30. And we'll see this relay energized when we get to 5.30. Here we go. All right. A quick look at the case or the stand. They did a very good job reproducing it. It's all clean and shiny. There's no damage to it. Take a look at all of the wood. Alright, here I'm going to show the striker coming into the bell and let's just do a, a two bells. A little top view of the control box so you can see the electrical connectors coming in. Everything is, is really clean and done very nicely. Wanted to point out two things on this clock. Uh, the first is on the barometer. The thermometer is working, but if you'll notice it's about, what is that, 65 degrees right now. And the temperature is shown, or the mercury is silver. Uh, so, you know, the modern ones you see have like a blue or red in there. And this thermometer is working, but my point is just that you have to get up on it and take a good look to see because there is this, you know, silver in there. But uh, the barometer is working fine. You can set the pointer to see whether you're rising or falling. And then the only other thing I wanted to point out on this is it is 110 volt AC operated. You just plug it in to a regular AC outlet and it'll start working away for you. It does keep good proper time because it's been serviced, but because it's 110 volts and the 110 volts goes in through the relay and then comes through the clock, goes through the clock, uh, you actually have 110 volts on this whole thing. And I don't know if that's the way it was originally intended to be wired or not, but I want to make it known that, that this is the way it was delivered to me for this auction. And... Uh, I don't make any claim at all to 
the electrical wiring as far as if it's proper or correct to the original manufacturer back in the teens when it was first made. It is working, everything's fine, but I'm just letting you know that there is 110 volts running around in here, so you know if there's the potential of a shock hazard or anything, it's it's not any wiring that I did. So be cautious and and hopefully you know exactly how it's meant to be wired up so you feel safe in operating it. There is a stack of paperwork that comes with this clock. Uh, these are copies of the original advertising brochure for the automatic ship's bill, the wiring diagram, and then there's a stack of paper and research the owner did, including this letter in which the director of customer service for the Chelsea Clock Company looked up the serial number of this clock and told the owner that it was sold to the Bell Island Boat Engine Company in 1925. And then they go on to say that there's a number 54 that's mounted on or stamped into the barometer. So what the owner believes is that uh, this is roughly you know mid-20s and then this is from the 50s and then they were brought together to be an exact replica of the full automatic ship's bell clock which has sold for twenty to thirty thousand dollars in the past. All right, let's hear all eight bells at eight o'clock. For more information, visit GameRoomRepair.com.